All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Ann Blowers. I am the facilitator for today's um, session. Thank you for joining the virtual college exploration for all Ohio students today featuring Teal College. I'm so glad you guys could join us. Just a few logistics here before I turn it over to our Teal College representative, Erica, here. Um, just so you guys are aware, you can utilize the Q&A feature during today's session. So if you do have any questions for Teal College, please do feel free to utilize the Q&A there the bottom of your screen to type any questions that you have. Please also do note that you are muted and your video cannot be shared today. So again, that is going to be the single feature that you can utilize to ask those questions. Now, if those questions are not answered today for any reason, do know that again, Erica will be receiving um, that Q&A here in the next week. So uh, Teal College can certainly follow up with you post today's uh, presentation to get your questions answered. So please know that moving forward. Of course, um, today's session is not the only only session available to you guys. So if you would like to explore other colleges and universities, please certainly feel free to look at our full schedule of events through OACAC by going to oacac.org. And at this same site, you will find today's presentation recording available there um, starting in about a week. So if for any reason you experience any kind of logistic difficulties um, with your computer or your feed today and need to log back in to view this presentation later, that'll certainly be available to you. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Erica um, to begin with you guys. And again, thanks for joining us today. All right. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's definitely an interesting time, um, but I hope that everything is going well as far as your college search and um, just maneuvering your senior and or junior years um, and just enjoy making the best of it. But I'm really excited to share with you today about Teal College. So we are in Western Pennsylvania. We're about an hour and a half north of Pittsburgh, about I'd say another hour and a half east of Cleveland and like an hour south of Erie. So it's pretty central. It's a lot of fun. It's a great community. We are a smaller, more rural area, um, really tight knit um, community a lot of fun, a lot of outdoorsy things. So if you like fishing or hiking, this is a great place to be. I don't, I know I definitely take advantage of that. Um, but we are just so excited to be able to share about Teal College with you all today. Um, and just feel free, like Liz said, if you have questions, don't um, hesitate to ask, please. Um, so I guess just to get started, sorry, you can see I'm moving this all around. Um, but just some quick facts. So who are we at Teal? So we were founded in 1866 and um, the history is something we're really proud of. It's really cool because as you go around campus, you can see some of the more modern buildings and then see some of the classic older architecture, which is just beautiful. A lot of trees, a lot of nature um, just has that very um, old school feel, which I really love. And we're affiliated with the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Our mascot is Tommy Tomcat. And we have around 800 undergrad students for our enrollment. And that is a size we are super proud of because our big focus at Tail is community. And this allows us to foster and um, dive deep within community. And so just to put that into perspective, your average class size is going to be around 14 students. So you're really going to be able to have that relationship with your professors, dive deep, get to really work with the material that you are learning and within your major or class, which is great. And the class size can get a little bit bigger. Um, so usually it will range from 14 to 20. So if you're in a more general core class, then you'll have some more kids, but it's not going to be humongous classes. Um, and we are a liberal arts institution. And what that means basically is you are going to be exposed to areas of study outside of your major realm. So if you are a business major, for example, you're also going to have classes within the humanities, within science, communication, things of that nature, just to help you become a more well-rounded learner and really just develop these different skills. And that will help you as you go on after college and into the, the workforce and just in life in general. And so really what makes Teal different? And this is a picture of our one pathway and you would actually walk up and down this and, uh, as you do convocation as a freshman and then graduation. Um, but 
as you're going through your college search and your college journey here, what makes us different? And I would say that the biggest thing and that which we are most proud of is that we are a family. So we take that very seriously and take community very seriously. And you will be surrounded by faculty, staff, and coaches that are going to have your best in mind and are going to want to see you succeed and really become the most that you can be while you are here and set you off on a great trajectory for the rest of your life. You're not just going to be a number here by any means. You're going to be a person, and we really want to see you thrive and grow. Uh, and there's a lot of different areas where this happens. So we have study tables, um, which help you as you're going through your classes, and if there's any questions that you would have or things that you need strengthened in. You'll have academic coaches, you'll have office hours, and even work-study opportunities where you'll be able to work on campus and take on leadership roles and really begin to impact the community around you, which is wonderful. And it is just so great to be a part of a campus community that has the focus on family because we really, really want you to thrive and to grow here. And your coaches, your faculty and staff, and any kind of leaders that you're involved with, they really want to know you. And that's just going to enrich your educational experience overall. And it's going to help set you up for great things. Because another perk is that co people's connections become your connections. And you really learn that networking is huge. And your professors are going to be able to know what your interests are and get you connected with jobs or internships, which is really exciting. And so we have also taken a lot of care into our school and the campus itself. So we've actually put nearly $40 million in campus improvements. We have a dome over our football field that we put up in the colder months. So that way uh, teams can still practice and utilize the, um, the football field and even our other campus community people that way you can walk and it's just like a great place to hang out. And then we also have our science connector and that has new chemistry, biology and microscope labs. So it's, it's actually a real, it's such a beautiful building and the labs seem a lot of fun. And it's just really cool to have that state of the art technology and equipment there. So it will help you as you go on to maybe grad school or into any other jobs. And we wanna make sure that you have proficiency in utilizing this type of equipment. And we also have built our James Pettis Communication Center and that houses different television and radio stations. So we actually have like a green screen in a place where you can do recordings and all state-of-the-art equipment, as well as the radio portion. So we'll have um, places where you can record podcasts, do help with hosting our WFTC radio show, different things of that nature. And it's just a great way to get hands-on experience. And students, even if they are not directly involved with a radio or media studies major, can still have opportunities to work with these facilities, which is really awesome. And we have a ton of majors, so I won't share every single one or else we will be here a very long time. Um, but we have over 60 majors and minors that you can participate in, and they range over a wide variety of um, professions. So we have a lot of science majors, so pre-professional. So one of the majors we really like is our health systems major, and that sets you up if you would want to be looking towards med school, um, graduate nursing school, physical therapy school. And then we also have neuroscience, cytotechnology, and different areas of psychology. And there's actually three main tracks. So if you're interested in counseling or any um, of the other tracks, this is a great place for you. Media communications, which you'd be able to utilize those awesome uh, facilities. And we have a awesome education program. And there's a lot of schools actually in the area. So you would have a lot of hands-on experience as far as being able to get into the classroom and a lot of areas of focus in business. And something to keep in mind as well is we have started a new MBA program and where you would be able to graduate with your master's in business administration with five, in five years. So it's a five-year program and there's two tracks once you get to the MBA portion and that you could either choose between management or leadership. 
We also have a five-year speech-language pathology program, which is huge. If you are interested in uh, becoming a speech-language pathologist, working with people with uh, communication disorders, this is a great major for you to check into. Also, we have a new physician assistant program, and that's also going to be five years. And we are now starting interviews for the fall 2021 um, cohort. So that is a wonderful opportunity. And we also have a master's route as well. And we have some new undergrad programs as well, such as data analytics, sports management, exercise science, health, study, health systems, public policy and environmental safety management. And then we're also working on our nursing program, which is going to be starting 2021. So as you can see, lots of different majors, a lot of different areas of study and places for opportunity for you to learn and grow. Um, one of the things that we pride ourselves on besides being a place where you will find community and family is our academic excellence and our desire to provide you with the best education that we can. So as I discussed earlier, 70% oh, of your classes contain 20 students or less, and that is amazing. You are really going to be able to work directly with your professors and with the other people within your class to really understand and hone in on what you're needing to learn. You're gonna get a lot of hands-on experience and overall the student to faculty ratio is 11 to one. So you're not going to have to fight to be able to discuss um, your classes or what you're learning with a professor. So that is great. And we have free tutoring for everybody. So that is a, a great um, resource for you to utilize. And I would really encourage you to consider that because you want to be sure that you are doing the best you can and understanding everything because as you go through your college um, career, you want to make sure that you're building a foundation and understanding everything as you go along. And so we offer research opportunities for everyone. And we also have the Dietrich Honors Institute. And this is equivalent to an honors college, different honors um, programs that you may see out there. And this is an experiential learning and research experience. So we really want to hone your mind and build those leadership qualities that we see within you because you're clearly a hard worker if you're invited into this program and we want to develop that and help that grow. And a pro almost 25% of our student body is involved with the Dietrich Honors Institute and it's over many different majors. We have athletes in the program, so it is something very doable. And outside of the classroom, all of our students are going to be doing an internship or practicum. And sometimes you can even start those as early as your second semester. So even in your freshman year, you can be doing a practicum or an internship, which is great because you will be able to get hands-on experience, start seeing what kind of things you're interested in. And if you're kind of on the fence about the major that you're in, you're going to be able to see it practice in the day-to-day -day and be able to shift gears a little bit or know for sure that this is what you want to be doing and start building those connections and networking while you are like a freshman, which is really huge. And so you can do these internships and practicums while you're here on campus or while you're at home in the summer. So you would work with your academic advisor to organize those. And we have a 95% job and graduation um, school, graduate school placement rate. So what that means is 95% of our students within like six months of graduation are either within a job or you're in graduate school. And many of our majors are 100%, such as with accounting and our education majors. So that is a big deal. And we have students from all over the country. We even have students from Alaska, which is really sweet. And so that is great as you are going to be able to be exposed and to build relationships with people from all over the country and learn about the different cultural things that are even within our own country. And then we have students from overseas, which is great. And we are a residential campus. So what that means is you'll have guaranteed housing. And unless you would be eligible to commute, you're going to be living on campus. And we have 17 residence options. And within those, we have dorms, townhouses, apartments, and themed housing. So a lot of different options for you. And 82% of our students live on campus. So it's a thriving residential life. You're going to have a lot of people around. There's not just going to be a few living on campus. So a lot of things going on, a lot of fun to be had. And oh, nearly 25% of our students are from an ethnically or racially diverse background. So 
we really love the diversity of our campus and how different everybody is and being able to learn and grow together. And just to build those friendships and relationships with people you may have never had the opportunity to before. And we have a lot of leadership opportunities because we want to encourage our students to be leaders or to develop, to develop those skills within themselves. And we can do that within our sports. So we have 24 Division Three varsity sports, lots of different ones. I won't name them all, but different football, soccer, volleyball programs. Um, and our coaches love what they do and love working with their, their students and their athletes. So it is a real thriving program to be involved in. And we have over 60 clubs and organizations. So there is tons of areas for leadership. And if you would maybe not see a club or organization that you would be interested in or would want to bring one to campus, we are more than happy to encourage you and to give you the opportunity to do that. And we also have Greek life that you can participate in if you would desire. So it's really easy to apply to Teal, especially this year. So we have an online application on our website and that's teal.edu, T-H-I-E-L.edu. Or you can even apply using the Common App or we have paper applications, but usually digitally is much easier and you don't have to worry about it getting lost in the mail. And we would just need a copy of your high school transcripts at least through the the completed junior year just to do that to ensure that you meet the different requirements. We are test optional this year as far as SAT or ACT goes, but if you would be interested in the physician assistant program, we are going to ask that you submit one of those scores. And recommendation letters and essays are optional, but we do encourage if you would like to give us a better understanding of who you are as a student or um, about your academic journey, then we would really encourage that. And then once you apply and should you be accepted, you would need to complete your FAFSA and then you would be receiving a financial aid package. And we have many different scholarship opportunities. We have our merit scholarship, which is based off of your cumulative GPA and that's awarded upon acceptance. And there's a lot of other scholarships that can be awarded and grants within Teal and I won't name them all because that would be a lot, but just know there is a lot of scholarship opportunities here and for the different majors and different areas of study. And so we just really value keeping up with you. And so we would encourage you to follow us on social media. We have all sorts of accounts and it keeps you in the loop with what's happening here on campus. And we love to interact with you. So please feel free to share or to comment on any of our posts. and just stay up to date with Teal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, see if we have any questions. Um, I don't see any, but I'll give you a minute or so to see. But um, as was said, if you would have any questions later on, we'll have um, I'll be receiving those. And please always feel free to reach out to our admissions office if you would like to set up a visit. We are doing on-campus visits. So you can come and sign up for a tour and you can register on our website, teal.edu, and that's T-H-I-E-L.edu. And you can even register for a virtual visit if, that was some, if that's something you're more comfortable with. But we are doing on-campus tours and visits. So if you would wanna meet with coaches or professors, I would really encourage you to do so. Um, because we would love to have you and get to know you a little bit more. Awesome. Thanks, Erica. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us today for this presentation from Teal College. Again, we will be here for another minute or so. So go ahead and submit any questions in the Q&A. As we do wrap up today, I do want to share just a few logistics with you. Um, so those are going to be that if you have um, a few minutes after today's session, as you do exit, you are going to see a, a quick um, survey pop up for you, just four questions. So we do ask that you complete that for us as, again, you exit today's session. If you are interested in joining us for for more sessions to learn about other colleges and universities, of course, you can find that full list. We have over 100 going on here over the next few weeks. So you can find that at the www.oacac.org website. 
And like I mentioned at the start of today's presentation, if you do want to come back and view today's presentation anytime in the future, you can of course find that presentation recording located at that same site, so oacac.org, and that'll be available for you starting in about a week. So thank you guys again for joining us. Please do complete that four questions survey, and again, reach out to Teal College with any questions that you guys have moving forward. So thanks so much, guys. Take care.